Minister Philpott, you have uh, this amazing role of being a role model to many women and to um, mothers and daughters across the country, but you just have found your own mother a champion. Tell us about that. Oh my gosh, I have uh, the most amazing mother. Uh, she, I owe so much to her. She taught me so many things growing up and continues to be a source of strength for me. Uh, my mom and dad but, uh, taught myself as well as my three sisters that uh, as young women growing up in Canada into a home where we were loved and cared for, that um, we had the kind of the world at our doorstep and that everything was possible. Uh, I think the, the message that we got from them was, you know, you can do whatever you want in this world. The only uh, parameters are is that you have to serve people, that you have to get out there and do something to make the world a better place. And uh, my mom is so incredibly creative. She is a huge dreamer. You can put any problem in front of her and she can instantly come up with 10 possible solutions to it. And she not only dreams, but she gets things done. So that's, uh, that's the inspiring woman who uh, I owe so much to. Well, you also have the job in Canada now that is so important to every family's health. How important is mom to the family's health? Well, I think uh, being a mother is an incredible privilege and, and opportunity as a mom myself. I think uh, we, have, uh, we have the responsibility of helping to shape young lives and to uh, treat those young people in our lives with love and compassion. One of the things I know that the lesson that my mom taught me and that I attempt to pass on to my kids is that I'm going to love them no matter what. You know, that I, I have big hopes and dreams for them, but um, and I want them to be happy, but there is nothing that they could ever, ever do in this world that would stop me from loving them. And uh, that's an important thing that moms need to pass on to their kids. It's something that my parents taught me. And, uh, you know, not everybody gets to have a mom who has got the wherewithal to be able to pass on those messages, and that's a, an unfortunate thing. Uh, but those of us who have it within us to be able to, to give that kind of unconditional love to our kids uh, that will support them through life, uh, we need to do that for our kids. You've written a very touching number of articles about your early career in Africa mm -hmm. when you were working there as health workers to the most needy and you lost Emily to a, a terrible a fever. Tell me about your Christian faith through an experience like that, losing a, a beautiful toddler. Well, uh, no doubt losing our daughter was the hardest thing that ever happened to my husband and I. And um, I think we learned a lot about grace in that. Uh, we learned that uh, God does give you the strength to get through the hardest things ever uh, in ways that you never thought you'd be able to cope. Somehow God gives you the strength. And I think the biggest lesson I learned in that, which I... Um, suspect was an answer to prayer was that while we felt incredible pain about losing our precious little one um, we very quickly also learned that we needed to look around us and see that we were not the only people in the world who had suffered uh, pain and loss that in fact the world is an unfair place and we looked around and saw other moms and dads who had lost little ones we were living in a country where at that time 27% of kids wouldn't live to see their fifth birthday. And the lesson that we needed to learn from our own loss was that we needed to go out and try to make sure it didn't happen to other people and try to bring, um, bring uh, justice and bring uh, better opportunities and hope to the people around us. Well, Minister Jane Philpott, mom to four, in this Mother's Day special. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.